a better best friend. This morning, while I was out walking, I found a best friend. Usually all I find are pine cones, but this is definitely a best friend. At least, I think he is. Anyway, he looks like one. I've been wanting a best friend for a long time, but best friends aren't like pine cones. They don't just fall from trees. It takes us a while to say anything. His name is Pock. He has a real best friend face. I have a feeling he's going to be my best friend. You can have lots of friends, but a best friend is different. With them, you have your very best times. Even bad times are good times with a best friend. I show Pock the tree I like most, my secret places in the forest. Things you wouldn't show anyone except a best friend. I show him clearings with tall grass and small puddles that reflect the sunlight. Pock doesn't say much, but he's always ready to do things with me. We love watching the leaves fall as the weather cools. And when winter comes, we spend hours watching the first snowflakes drift down. Then spring arrives, and so does Moo. With Moo as well, it takes us a while to say anything. But soon, Moo shows us even better places in the forest that we've never seen before. Different clearings with tall grass, fresh puddles that reflect the sunlight and the clouds too. We even skip stones across the water and sit and watch the river flow by. I'm starting to wonder if Moo isn't a better best friend than my best friend Pock. With Pock, I love watching leaves fall, snow drifting down and pink clouds sailing across the sky. But then I also love eating blackberries and going to the river with Moo. He's much better than Pock at skipping stones. Still, Pock is my best friend. No, I think it's Moo. No, Pock. Hold on, maybe Moo. Moo, Pock. Mo, Mock, Poo, Poe. Ah! I want one best friend, not two. One. And then, this morning, as the sun showed up, so did Gunther. It took us a while to say anything. 